Hi guys, today I am here to bring you a classical Pilates mat series. All you will need for this series is your body and a mat. During this workout, I will give some modifications for some exercises, but as always, feel free to adjust and modify as necessary. When you're ready, gather your mat and we will get started. All right guys, so let's find a seat on our mat. Feet sit bone distance apart, growing your spine tall towards the ceiling. When you're ready, you'll just take your hands behind your thighs, elbows bent out to the sides. Beautiful, sit up as tall as you can on top of those sit bones, take a big breath inhale, and then as you exhale, tuck your tailbone under, allowing your arms to straighten, scooping out your belly. Inhale here, and then as you exhale, roll the spine all the way back up to seated, growing tall on top of the sit bones. Let's do that a few more times. Exhaling and rounding back, tailbone under, scooping out the belly. Take a breath, inhale, exhale, rolling it up, sitting up tall on those sit bones. Let's do just two more like that, exhaling, rounding back. And exhaling, sitting up nice and tall. Last time through, exhaling, rounding back. And again, exhaling, sitting up nice and tall. From here, exhale and round back, letting those arms straighten. Collarbones wide and shoulder blades down the back. We're just gonna come up here an inch and down here an inch. And up and down, holding on with your hands on those thighs or releasing your hands out to the side. Beautiful, keep those feet grounded into your mat. You've got five more here. And four. Last two. And last one. Roll it all the way up to seated. Sit up tall on those sit bones one more time. Take a breath, inhale. Exhale, round the spine back. Let's rotate both hands to the left thigh and come up and down just an inch here. Using those hands for support or releasing your hands completely. Good. From here, your pelvis is nice and square to the front of your mat. You've got equal weight on both sides of your tailbone. Nice, let's do four more here. And three, and two, and one. Rotate back center, use your hands to guide you back up to sitting tall. Take a breath, inhale one more time. Exhale, round it back. Rotate the other direction, hands to the thigh, or releasing those hands, coming up and down, just an inch. Good, let's do four more here. And three, and two, and one. Rotate back center, instead of rising up this time, we're gonna roll all the way down onto our back, arms down by the sides. Adjust yourself so you're right at the center of your mat. Sacrum is nice and heavy, collarbones are wide, back of the ribcage is nice and heavy on the mat. Take a breath, inhale, exhale, bring your left knee up into tabletop, then bring your right knee into tabletop, soften the front of the ribcage to the hips, and we start our toe taps here, right and left. Alternating sides, reaching your toes out into water. Beautiful, if you're comfortable here, make this more of a reciprocal movement. As one leg comes towards you, the other leg moves away. Nice, let's do five. And four. Last two. And last time. Bring both knees back up into a tabletop position. Squeeze your inner thighs together. Widen your arms on the mat. Keeping those knees nice and even. Let's inhale the knees over to the left. Soften the back of the rib cage towards the mat. Draw the belly button in and bring the knees back center. Inhale the knees up and over to the other side. Soften the ribs, draw the belly button in and bring those knees back center. Let's just alternate a few more times. Nice.
beautiful. We'll do one more each way. And coming back center. From here, reach your hands past your thighs. Take a breath, inhale. Exhale, curl your head, neck, and chest up, and we'll start our 100. Inhaling for five breaths and exhaling for five breaths. Now you can keep your knees in tabletop, you could lower your feet to the floor, or you can extend those legs long on a diagonal. Gaze towards those thighs. Halfway there. Nice last three breaths here. Last round. And rest. Draw those knees in tightly to the chest. Circle right and left. Nice job. When you're ready, come back center. Take your hands on the front of your left knee. Extend your right leg nice and long on a diagonal. Curl your head, neck, and chest up, pushing your shin forward to help you lift up even higher. Now move your outside hand just down to your ankle here. The alignment of our hands is to keep our knee in alignment with our hip. Pull twice on that knee and then switch to the other side. Pull, pull, switch, pull, pull. So you're simultaneously pressing into your knee and slightly pressing into your ankle to keep that alignment the same. Let's do four more. And three. Last two. And last time. Whatever knee is closest to you, let's straighten that leg. Pull twice on this leg. Big switch, pull, pull. Big switch, pull, pull. Inhale through your switch. Exhale as you pull. Let's do four, and three, last two, last time. Nice job, both legs up to the ceiling, hands behind the head. Lower the legs a little bit, exhale, lift them back up. Now option to lower the head down, option to have the hands underneath the sacrum. Good option to have a soft bend in the knees. So take what you need. Let's do four. Reach those legs long across the room. Three. Last two. And last one. Draw the knees deeply into the chest. Circle your arms around to grab onto your shins. Curl up a little bit higher. Take a breath, inhale. Exhale, extend your arms and legs away from each other. Then bring your arms out to a T position and circle the knees back in. Inhale, extend out. Exhale, widen those arms and circle. Last four, three, last time, beautiful job. Lower your head down for a moment, rock a little side to side. One more, curl the head, neck and chest up. Extend your right leg long away from you, hands behind the head, rotate to the left. Take a breath, inhale, as you switch, exhale. Good. Again, sacrum evenly weighted, just rotating through those lowest ribs. Elbows reaching wide across the room. Let's do four more each way. Pull that knee in right to the hip, and last time each side. Come center, lower your head, lower your feet. Beautiful job. Take your heels in line with your sit bones now, pointing your knees straight up to the ceiling, arms down by the side. Take a breath, inhale. Exhale, tuck your tailbone under and slowly peel the spine up off of the mat, rolling up into your bridge. Once you're at the top of your bridge, check in with your feet. Make sure you have even weight on the big toe and pinky toe side. Your thigh bones are parallel to one another. Your tailbone is still tucked under. Your front ribs are soft. Good, exhale your way all the way down. Inhale at the bottom, exhale, peel that spine all the way up. 
pausing at the top, checking in, and then peeling the spine all the way down. Let's do two more just like that. And last time through, let's stay up at the top here. Even weight through both of your feet. Now we're just gonna laterally slide the hips left and right. And left and right. Imagining you had a little skateboard underneath your tush and both sides of your tush are touching the skateboard at all times. Nice comeback center. Lower the body down one inch and continue this exercise. Sliding right and left. Finding more length in the waistlines. Come back center, lower one more inch and let's slide again. Good. Last two each side and last time each way. Come back center, lower the hips down for just a moment. Let's bring our feet in a little bit closer to one another. Roll the spine back up into your bridge position. Bring your left toes onto the mat. Now you can stay here, flicking your left toes out a little bit and in, or you can extend that same leg up to the ceiling and we just lower and lift. Point lower, flex lift. Point lower, flex lift. For four, three, And last time, hold the toe up to the ceiling, little pulses up, otherwise your foot can be on the floor, toes down. For four, three, two, and one. Slowly bring that foot back in, keep the hips lifted, switch to your other toes, or extend the leg up to the ceiling. We point lower, flex lift. Point lower, flex lift. For four, three, last time, little lifts up, for four, three, two, and one, slowly lower that foot back down, lower the spine down, extend the legs long, flex your toes towards your shins, feet are about shoulder distance apart, hands reach towards the ceiling, take a breath, inhale here, Exhale, curl your head, neck, and chest up, gazing towards your feet, and let's roll our spine all the way up to seated. Once you're sitting tall on your sit bones, pull your navel back as you simultaneously reach your fingers forward. Good. And then start to shift to the tailbone back as you extend the arms up to the ceiling, coming into a diagonal line. From here, sit up tall on the sit bones and lower your arms. Take a breath, inhale. Exhale, pull the belly button back as the arms reach forward. Shift the tailbone back, reach your arms to the sky, long diagonal line. Bring yourself back up on your sit bones and lower the arms. Two more times, take a breath, inhale. Exhale, reach, lengthen, sit up tall and lower the arms. One more time, round, reach. Lengthen, sit up tall, and lower the arms. Widen your arms out to a T. Rotate to the right twice. Come back center, rotate the other way. Good, feet stay even where they're placed on the mat. Again, you're rotating around that lowest floating rib. Let's do one more each direction. Beautiful, and then rotate one more time to face me. You're gonna take your hand past the pinky toe of that front foot as you reach the back arm back as far as you can. Sit up tall in rotation, and then rotate back center. Other way, rotate, reach in opposition. Stack the spine and come back center. Rotate, reach in opposition. Sit up tall and center. Keep on going. Finding that push and the pull. Nice job last time. 
Good, arms up to the ceiling here, seated tall on the sit bones. Lower one arm down by the side, reach up and over. Sit up nice and tall, bring both arms up, other way. Anchoring evenly through both sit bones here. Just feeling that beautiful stretch through the side body. Nice, let's do one more each way. And come back center. Lower the arms back down in front of you. Take your feet a little closer to one another. Now here you can roll down with a rounded spine, or if you're coming with me, we'll start with a flat back and end with a rounded spine. So hands behind the head or hands in front of you if you're doing your rounded spine. If your hands are behind the head, imagine that you're growing your neck taller by putting a little upward resistance from your hands into the back of your neck. Gently. Take a breath, inhale. Exhale, lean the body back as far as you can. When you can't go any further, tuck the tailbone and round the rest of the way down. Hands stay behind the head or we reach our arms to the ceiling and roll the spine back up to seated. Sit up tall. Take a breath, inhale. Exhale, lean the body back. And at the last moment, tuck and round. Hands behind the head or hands reaching to the ceiling. We roll the spine up to seated without pulling on the neck. One more time, lean the body back. Tuck and roll. And round the spine all the way back up. Beautiful job. Reach those arms in front of you. Lower the spine all the way back down. Arms down by the sides. Reach your left leg to the ceiling. Take a breath, inhale. Exhale, take that leg across the body. Sweep it down, around, and up. Across the body, down, around, and up. Your standing leg. The knee is pointing directly up to the ceiling. So are the toes. You've got four. And three. Last two. Last one, let's reverse that circle. Out to the side, around and up. Out to the side and around and up. Last three on the side. And last time. Scissor switch the legs, other side. Across the body, down, around and up. Last three. And two. And last one, reverse it. And sweep it out, around and up. Last three, and two, and last time. Bring both legs down. Bend both knees, roll over onto your side. Come up onto the forearm, elbow underneath the shoulder. From here, bottom knee is bent, top leg is extended. Lengthen your top waist and lift through your low obliques. Let's just lift our leg here. Exhale to lift. Nice job, other hand can be behind the head down on the mat or at the hip. Let's do five, four, three, two, and one. Flex that foot, flex kick forward, point reach back. Flex kick forward, point reach back. Let's do four. Keeping the tailbone reaching towards the end of the mat, even as the leg goes forward. Last two. And last time. Nice job. Extend both legs to the front edge of your mat. Externally rotate both legs. Take your top toes, slide them up the inseam of your pants, extend the leg long, flex the foot, and bring the leg down. Point. Good. Stretch and lengthen. Point. Stretch and lengthen. Let's do three more. And two. Last time. Good, reverse it. Kick up, point, bend, and stretch. Kick up, point, bend, and stretch. Last three. Last two. And last time. Hold those legs on top of one another. Quick little beats of the heels together for eight, seven, six, four, three, two, reverse for eight. Last four, three, two, and one. Bend the knees in, transition to the other side. Come down onto the forearm. Bend the bottom knee, top leg is extended. 
find your length, find your lift. Lift the top leg up. Good, reaching long through the toes. Nice, for five, four, three, two. Hold the leg up, flex the foot, kick forward, point reach back. Keeping that leg hip height throughout your movement. Bottom thigh bone is pressing down into the mat. You've got four, three, last two, and last time. Good, extend both legs long to the front corner of your mat, externally rotate. Take your top foot up the inseam of your pants, stretch the leg long to the ceiling, flex the foot and lower. Point, stretch, lengthen, point, stretch, lengthen. Last three, last two, and last one in this direction. Reverse it, flex, kick up, point and slide. Last three, last two, and last one. And let's click those heels, circle. Reverse it. Nice, and lower down, beautiful. From here, we're gonna rotate onto our forearms, coming into a low plank. You can have your fists parallel to one another or fists towards one another. We'll lift the knees, finding a long line from the crown of the head to the toes. From here, we're gonna pull, uh, flick our left foot so that like we're lighting a match on the floor and then press forward, back, and return that foot. Other side, flick the foot back, press forward, back, and return. Flick, forward, back, return. Keep going. Nice job. Last one each way. Good. Lower the knees down. Keep the torso lifted. Forearms are still down on that mat. Lift through your low belly, point through your toes. Let's flex kick, point kick, flex kick, and reach our left leg, and then flex, point, flex, and reach our right leg. Flex, point, flex, stretch. Good, now we're trying to keep our upper body from shifting forward and back as we do these little kicks. Nice and stable torso. Good. One more each way. Beautiful job. Lower your torso all the way down on the mat. Turn your head to one side and bring your hands up onto your upper back, letting the elbows slide down to the sides. Reach long through the toes. Take a breath, inhale. Exhale, lift the head, neck, and chest up. Lift the feet and stretch the arms. Good, lower the legs down, lower the head down to the other side, lower the elbows. Let's do one more like that, just stretching everything long, and then lowering down to the other side. Now when you lower the head, neck, and chest down, we're gonna add some kicks. So extend everything up, lower down, kick one, two, three. Lift everything up, lower everything down, kick one, two, three. I am flexing, pointing, and then flexing my feet. That is up to you. Again, we're trying to keep the torso stable as we kick. Let's just do one more. Good, hands under shoulders, knees can stay down here or tuck the toes under, coming up into our plank. Lifting everything up from the floor, press away. Elbows turn towards the ribs, again your knees can be down. Let's bend those elbows and straighten those elbows for five and four. Three. And last time. 
lower the knees down, shift onto one side. So now one hand is down, right underneath the shoulder. Your bottom knee can be down here. Top arm to the ceiling. Let's rotate the torso so that the top arm comes underneath our armpit and then stretch that arm nice and long. Stay here or extend both legs, stacking or staggering the feet. Round and reach under and lift and lengthen. Round and reach under and lift and lengthen. We'll do two more. And last time. Staying here, arcing the body up and over, reaching the arm overhead, and then lowering the hips towards the floor, bending the knees, lifting and arcing, lowering and bending the knees. Let's do two more. And last time. Nice job, settle yourself all the way down, sweep your legs around to the other side. Bring your hand underneath your shoulder, bottom knee down on the mat, top leg extended long. Make your body in one nice long line here. Extend the top arm to the ceiling. Rotate the torso, keep the hips stable. And then reach the arm up to the ceiling. Nice again, exhale. And inhale. Option to straighten both legs. Nice, let's do two more here. And last time. Good, from here, arcing the upper body up and over, arm reaches overhead, and then bring the elbow towards the hips as we lower the hips down. Reaching up and over, and lowering. Reaching up and over, and lowering. Now I'm not settling my hips totally to the mat. I'm staying engaged here. Last two. And last time, settle all the way down. Good, turn your feet forward on the mat. Let's grab onto our outer shins with our hands, pulling our toes in nice and close to the glutes. You may choose just to balance here. If you're coming with me, you're gonna roll back to the shoulders, roll up and hover. Roll back to the shoulders, roll up and hover pulling the belly button in, keeping the same distance between the thighs and the chest throughout your movement. Let's do two more. And last time. Finding your balance. You can again stay balanced, maybe this time with the feet extended, or you can grab onto your ankles, lengthening your toes to the ceiling, elbows wide, scoop up the belly, roll back to the shoulders, roll up. Woo and balance, roll back to the shoulders, roll up and balance. Let's do two more. And last time. Staying here, bringing your knees together, bending them so that the shins are parallel to the floor. Reach your arms in front of you. Let's circle the arms up, out, around, and down. Up, out, around, and down. Option to extend the legs. Two more this way. Last time. And reverse it. Out, up, around, and down. Last two. And last time. Arms stay up overhead. Lower everything down at one time. Stretch your fingertips away from your toes. Find length. From here, let's roll all the way over onto our belly making sure you have space to extend your legs and your arms. Palms face each other. Find length through the back of the neck and through the back of the low back. Take a breath, inhale. Exhale, float your arms and legs off of the ceiling. Find length through the crown of the head to the other side of the room. When you're ready, lift your right arm and your left leg and then switch. Switch and switch. Beautiful torso staying steady. Let's go a little quicker. Right, left, right, left. For five, four, 
three, the last two, and last one. Lift everything up nice and high, and then lower everything back down. Hands under the shoulders, sit up and back into a child's pose. Knees wide. Turn your palms up to the ceiling. From here, we'll flip over onto our back one more time. Laying all the way down. Arms pressing down by the sides, collarbones nice and open. Take a breath, inhale, exhale. Reach your long legs up to the ceiling. From here, we're gonna bring our toes over our head. You can choose to stop at any point um, or keep the knees slightly bent for tight hamstrings. Take a breath, inhale, exhale, roll the toes over. Flex the feet, separate them, and roll the spine down. Bring the legs back to that diagonal, point the toes. Reach the legs up and over, flex the feet, separate them, and roll the spine down. Let's do two more like that. Last time. Reverse it, keep those feet flexed and separated. Come up and over. Point, bring the legs together, and roll it down. Let's do three more. And two. And last time. Good. Bring those legs back to the diagonal. Take a breath, inhale here. Exhale. Bring the legs up and over. Flex, separate. And this time, see if you can get your toes down to the ground. Now circle your arms overhead, grabbing onto your left ankle. Stretch your right ankle up to the ceiling. Find your glutes and hamstrings here. Then when you're ready, switch to the other side. Bring both toes up to the ceiling, circle your arms around, and then slowly lower the spine down. Let's do two more just like that. Reach up and over, separate and flex, circle your arms, grab onto one ankle, stretch the other ankle up to the ceiling. When you're ready, switch. Bring both legs up, circle the arms around, and lower the spine down. One more time, up and over. Flex and separate, circle the arms, reach one leg up, switch. Bring both legs up, circle the arms, and slowly descend all the way down to the mat in front of you. Good, when you're ready, bend both knees in, grab onto those knees, and circle around your sacrum. Nice. Circle the other direction. And then just interlace your fingers over your shins and shift a little side to side. You can let your eyes close here. Coming to center, finding stillness in your body. Taking some deep breaths in through the nose and out through the mouth. In through the nose and out through the mouth. One more breath. Good. Carefully opening your eyes, releasing your hands. Let's roll over to one side. Find a comfortable seated position on your mat. Inhale the arms up overhead. Exhale the arms down. One more time, inhaling it up and exhaling it down. Great job today, guys. I hope you enjoyed that classical Pilates workout. Let me know what you thought in the comments down below. As always, don't forget to subscribe, and thanks for joining me. I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.